From Arnold Bocklin's death playing the fiddle to Vincent Van Gogh's self-portrait with bandaged ear, the self-portrait has steered in an area where other art could not. But no one has ventured as far into the abyss of contradiction and confusion of the self as Frida Kahlo. Today, we're talking about the masterpiece, The Two Fridas, by Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Painted in 1939, this eccentric self-portrait is considered to be one of the most famous Kahlo paintings, and it's not difficult to see why. Flipping the conventions of self-portraiture on its head, Kahlo breaks the fundamental principle and instead of depicting a solitary subject, paints herself twice. Both the Fridas depicted have their hearts exposed, but it takes a curious eye to get to the bottom of the painful truth lurking within the image. So, let's talk about it. Frida Kahlo's life was marked by destruction and chaos. On 17 September 1925, Frida was left with partial immobility and a lifetime of health problems due to a devastating bus accident. She suffered from chronic pain and could not have children because of the incident. Tormented in equal parts by her boredom and her pain, Kahlo turned her mind to painting. Possessed by the fire of creativity, she would go on to paint 143 paintings over her lifetime out of which 54 were self-portraits. Her obsession with this particular style of painting can be best explained by what she said. I paint self-portraits because I am so often alone and because I am the person I know best. All of this brings us neatly to the question, what self does Frida depict in the two Fridas? Well, we might start by talking about her marriage to the Mexican muralist Diego Rivera. Ten years before painting the two Fridas, Frida had married Diego, but unfortunately their marriage was tumultuous, with both of them having numerous affairs. In 1939, the two divorced, and the result of the painful parting was the two Fridas. Frida and Diego's marriage, for all its infidelity, was grounded in a complex mix of love, hate, and affection. With the marriage falling apart, Frida must have felt herself fracturing into two, a jumble of contradictory personalities coming together in one. We see these splintering selves depicted in the outfits that the two Fridas wear. The figure on the left wears a modest white European dress covering all of her skin except for her forearms. The figure on the right, however, is dressed in a traditional Tejuana bright blue in color and reveals a lot more skin than her European counterpart. Both figures have their hearts exposed and a collection of veiny outshoots curling up and around each other. Mexican Frida holds in her hands a miniature portrait of Diego Rivera with a tiny vein pumping blood into the image. European Frida holds a pair of forceps in her hands and a cut vein bleeds out on her white dress. The two Fridas seem to allude to Frida's mixed heritage. Her mother was Mexican and her father, German. Interestingly, the dress that Frida wears here is shockingly similar to the one her mother wears in the family portrait that she painted. Other than that, the Mexican Frida appears to be more healthy and alive, while the European figure is bleeding and has a pallid and pale complexion. Several critics have interpreted the bleeding side of Frida to represent Diego's disdain for that part of Frida. According to some sources, he abhorred the European side of her and urged her to dress in traditional Mexican attire and embrace her cultural roots. After they had parted ways, the ache that Frida must have felt at having been loved only partially would weigh on her life. Although both figures have exposed hearts and veins, it is the European Frida's heart that appears to be broken, exposing the arteries inside. Mexican Frida, on the other hand, has a plump and whole heart still attached to the portrait of her husband. Telling of the pain of both her relationship and cultural identity, ultimately what the two Fridas says is simple and beautiful. Despite their contradictions, confusions, and wounds, 
The two Fridas are what make Frida, Frida. While the painting reeks of heartache, it is also equally hopeful and points towards a benevolent understanding of the self. Although both figures are distinct from each other, they are intertwined through blood and flesh, signified by the two Fridas holding hands, and are thoroughly accepting of each other. Perhaps this radical acceptance of the contradictory and confused selves was born out of the love that Diego could not give to his wife. But of course, that is just one way of looking at it. With this, we're signing off for today, hoping this video brought something new for you. Before you leave, comment to tell us what you thought of the painting, subscribe to our channel, and roll the key to hit the bell icon to get notified for more upcoming videos. See you all next time. Adios.